everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We've been having... It's been up and down. And I think it's been fair to say that it's up and down. Not bad, though. I definitely would not say bad. Bad is a different thing. Let's take a quick look. Negative Hush. No, negative Mega Satan. Technically doable in one run. Greedier Mega Satan is going to take two runs no matter what, but... Polaroid, Mega Satan, Hush, Delirium. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> That's a lot. Let me think. Polaroid, Mega Satan, Hush, Delirium. Could you do it all in one run? Theoretically possible. I know, it's no surprise that Zazel ends up being like one of the last characters I do things as, because I have this like latent guilt where I don't want to play as Zazel. But, uh,. You know, I feel guilty that if I play as Azazel, people are going to be like... This is all, by the way, these are like emotional hang-ups from the first year of Isaac... Uh, well, at least Rebirth's existence, where there was so much attention on the game and... You know, there, it was an exciting period, both of discovery, but also... I wouldn't say of toxicity, necessarily, you know? I would just say, uh... Ooh, oh, this is amazing. Obviously, we want to go Satanic Bible, but like... Book of Belial's got some interesting je ne sais quoi as well. Um, but you know, they, when there's more attention on something, you know, you get more positive comments. Oh my god, I love watching your video, it changed my life, etc, etc. And you get more negative comments, like, uh, you know, it, it seems ridiculous to think back on it, but there were comments occasionally back then that were like, Two Azazel runs in a row, I'm unsubscribing forever. Where are you gonna go, dude? <laughs> very, very, very few people on this website are as dumb as I am and as insane as to continue to play this game for years and years. I'm still here. Dude, we got Bookworm, Deadshot, an HP upgrade, a Two of Diamonds card, and more. And all the rest, all on the first floor here. This is, uh, I mean, I don't know what Book of, uh, or sorry, I don't know what Bookworm really does for you as a Zazel. I think occasionally it might double up your shots, but make it nearly impossible to see. We got a plan right from the get-go. How are we going to do this? If we're going to fight... Well, it depends. Here's what I'm going to say. If we're going to fight... Hush. We should... We need to take Polaroid Path. We want Hush Delirium Mega Satan. Hush Delirium Mega Satan Polaroid. The only way to do that, we could go to the chest, of course, but we can do Hush, Void, and that's the most... It depends. It depends on what the key pieces look like. I think Hush, Void, Chest, Mega Satan is the way that we should group those. In theory, we could get more than one. Oh my god! <laughs> this is absurd! Um, so, I mean, we're going to take a lot of this. Yes, we are going to take Dark Bum. That one's the easy money. Um... Yes, we're going to double up on chess. Yes, we're going to take Horror Babylon. And believe it or not, we're going to take Multidimensional Baby. And that's why. It's the, it's a little finicky. It's just a modest range extender. But I will go in front of a university class and debate anybody that this is the right choice. Now, we are going to lose Horror Babylon's effectiveness temporarily. The other thing I wanted to keep in mind is there is no chance that we die before we get to get our spirit hearts back. Between... Dark Bomb. Thank you. And also Satanic Bible. It's just, it's not plausible. We're also two and a half minutes in and we're done with the first two floors. This is an unbelievable bounty. I think you roll, you know, you look at this, this is a 9.5 out of 10. We don't have incredible damage. You know, we didn't get Polyphemus Proptosis. Something like Serpent's Kiss would be a really nice improvement for us as well. Um, but apart from these, you know, it's real close to being amazing. Uh, you gotta go for Void, you know, so if, if we want to go for Void, Hush Void is the most high yield path. If we really, really wanted to tempt fate, which I don't want to do at all, what we could do is go to the chest. Hopefully we get the opportunity to teleport to uh, Mega Satan after we were to beat Isaac. But I wouldn't, or after we beat Blue Baby, I should say, but I wouldn't suggest... It's got all that much likelihood. For now, here's what you do. You gotta remember, you know, on a lot of these runs where we've, uh... 
where we've done really, really well early, we've managed to beat Hush, and most of the time, I think the, the Lilith or Keeper run, I can't remember who specifically it was, but that was an exception. Um, they've been pretty easy, and we just go, oh, well, Hush, or Delirium's dead. The truth of the matter is, it's a pain in the butt to kill Delirium. It needs a very specifically good run. It needs a run that's good enough and good enough quickly enough to have a great chance to get the hush in the first place in order to guarantee it. So our ability to get two birds stoned at once is pretty positive here. Magic Mush is just a disgustingly good... Oh, my word. Okay, so unfortunately, I wish I had taken Magic Mush before we came in here, but it, it doesn't really matter. Okay, never mind. Um, so we'll take Magic Mush and then... Take Guppy's Paw as well, just to give us the Guppy chance in the future. All I'll say right now is that we should try not to be too uh, cocky. Only HP could stop us now. So the more HP we can get, the more Dark Bomb payouts we can get, the better. Obviously, if you want to take this run, which is already in 10 out of 10, out of 10 level, if you want to make a 12 out of 10, what do you do? Very simple. Give me Tammy's head. I'll take it. Yo, exactly what I wanted, by the way. A little bit of extra money. Thank you for the spirit heart as well. And then because we have Brimstone, I'm actually going to card against humanity. Whole thinking here. Even a little bit of extra money means a lot. And, you know, we got a little closer to a dark bump payout as well. But even a little bit of extra money means a lot. Oh my god. This is an unbelievable bounty. I have been... I, I think... At the risk of sounding very whiny. Oh, when did that bother you before? I I still feel like I have been pretty appropriately negative about, uh, you know, some of our recent runs. Oh, we didn't get damage. We didn't get damage early enough, etc., etc., etc. I will be appropriately jazzed about this run. If you ever see anybody play this seed, which is, you know, right there, and uh, they go, well, this run's pretty good. Either they're missing something, or they're missing something, if you know what I mean. Like, upstairs. Because this is... It, it may not go down as one of the best runs I've ever had. It's way too early to tell that. But, the speed at which it got competent... I don't think I've ever seen that pay out so poorly. But if there's ever a run for it, it's this one. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a run get this good this fast. Like, this is... If you looked at the items in the far right, you would think that we were doing like a... Like a seated challenge run that was meant to be the easiest run of all time. Everything in there is worthwhile. So, um, I mean, it's... What can you say? <laughs> Thank you. I just got back. Um, I was talking about it earlier, but... I wrote a midterm. It went well. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm not going to tell you what my grade was. All I'll say is it's Canadian A. <laughs> Puts it somewhere in that that mysterious 20% range, you know, the of the rubric. Um, but you know what the best part about it was? Is that normally I have a three-hour lecture. But instead, I had a 50-question multiple-choice test. And that's a dream come true. Because that's, you know, the multiple... It's a... It's a Galaxy brain way to think that multiple choice tests are always going to be easy because the right answer is at least available somewhere But this was an easy multiple choice exam, you know, is one of those my professor is very nice um, Even though and this is it's just a pet peeve I understand why it has to be done and I'm not tilted about it, but you know class starts at 615 We didn't start the test on or sorry class starts at 6 We didn't start the test until 615 because the professor spent like 10 minutes Lecturing about the best way to take a multiple choice test and I was like look around you, bro. We're all 30. Okay. I get it There's answers choose the best one You know when you finish answering the questions go back and read them make sure you read them correctly and then you know go to town I'm not he, he's just being nice, but at the same time, you know It took until 615 to start the exam and then the first person finished at like 630 So you can see why I'm like we, we don't need to go through this this rigmarole, okay? Unless, maybe the school's going, hey, we got a report that some person did really poor on their exam because they didn't understand the framework of literally the most popular type of test on planet Earth. Anyway, I've had some multiple choice tests that were really tough in my scholastic career. I've had ones that were very easy. It's definitely on the easier side. My professor, he does the thing for at least half of the questions, like who wants to be a millionaire? Like early level questions where... Uh, 
Yeah, we lose Hor No, we don't lose. No, we will lose Horror Babylon for a bit here, but worth it for devil precedent, I think. Um, where it'll be like, you know, what interface would you implement if you wanted to be able to write a custom sort method? Uh, is that the comparable, sortable, iteratable, or just put it in the garbage, let the plant sort it out? Like, basically every question had one of those. So, like, I'm just here to tell you, if you're in my class and you wrote that exam and you got under a 33%, you not only got screwed by statistics, but need to pay attention. Because it was a out of four per question that was basically out of three. And then on top of that, one of them is usually, like, demonstrably incorrect if you paid even the slightest bit of attention. And then, you know, now it's between two and you're like, I don't really remember if it's collection or collections. You get the idea. So I'm, I'm feeling excited, you know, I've, the best, I mean, the best part about it is getting a good mark. The second best part about it for sure is actually getting like 150 minutes of free time that I'm using now to play Isaac when I would normally be sitting in class. Not being bored necessarily, but you know, <laughs> I want to set a good example for all the Hulkamaniacs out there, but you know, occasionally being like, yeah, we get it, dude. I'm not, whenever I say, like, you know, I wish the teacher would go faster, never ever do I mean, like, oh, I wish the slow people would just get out of the way. All I mean is, like, we know how to submit the files, professor. It's been six weeks of class. If we don't know how to submit the files, we shouldn't be here anymore. You don't need to go through it every time. These are your setters, these are your getters. We know, okay? I understand. I think we all understand. Nobody's going, hey, could you go over that one more time? But anyway. I have another story for you. Uh, and I just want to point out, this is, it It might sound made up. For those of you with a vancouver context, no, 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 no. Or, you know, a major metropolitan context, you will find it believable, I think. It's not meant, you know, I, I'm not necessarily male model sort of level here and moreover this is not something to necessarily be braggadocious about in the first place but when I was walking out of the school there was a, an older woman stumbling around looking very disheveled and she mumbled something when I walked by and I swear to god I thought she had said I'll do it for free and then I just sort of looked at her and she was looking off in the middle distance, but I didn't know if she was talking to me or not. And she was like, hey, come here, come here. And I just kept walking, dude. Because, uh, I mean, obviously. But it was just another day in, in downtown Vancouver is really what it comes down to. It's like, man, legalization has hit hard. But dum bum I yeah, obviously that's not the case. Or maybe it has, I don't know. It's been legal for like, I don't know, two days. I feel like nothing in my city's culture has changed whatsoever. You can take that as a good thing or you can take that as a bad thing. It's really up to you. But it has led to a one billion slash asymptotic increase in perhaps being propositioned by people on the street. And I gotta admit, Obviously, like, I'm not making fun of the fact that this was the case, but she was under the influence of some heavy narcotics. But I was, in the inside, I was still kind of like, thank you. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to eat less meat lately, get more sleep, take better care of myself, and it's nice to be noticed. <laughs> and on the other hand, I was like, get out of here before you die. Now. We are at 11 minutes into this run. What can you say? What do you get for the run who has everything? We have a 100% deal with the devil chance here. That's already going to be amazing for us, even if it doesn't contain much of value. As long as it contains something, we're getting a damage bonus from Whore of Babylon. Little Steven, obviously, not an amazing pickup. The one thing I will say, even though we're planning on going to the hush floor, I want to go to the shop and try to donate as much of this money as possible. That's why I stopped donating things on the last floor. Okay, well, on the hush floor, we'll try to donate as much money as possible. This could be a huge run, not just for post-it note checks, but also for uh, 
you know, our donation machine, which is one of the more uh, annoying things to take care of. Well, you got a brimstone beam, I got a brimstone beam. Takes two to tango, my man. I think we probably do not care about our remaining rooms. Uh, the only one I could think of is I guess we could get the key pieces, but again, it's not really about... Like, I don't think getting the key pieces matters at all. Because we have to go to the void floor at the best opportunity to go to the void floor. So we want Polaroid, and then... Oh, I mean, Empty Vessel is the easiest choice in the world. We already have the... Uh, None of these are worth taking, sadly. But we already have Bookworm, so there was no reason to take Necronomicon. We're heading down. All we have to do is go to the Hush Fight. Hush Fight, Void, Delirium. This could be the easiest win we've had in probably like a month. Not to mention, you know, on top of all of this, we got uh, real donation potential. Now, if my donation machine, uh, it's so minor, but it has been clogging pretty early lately. You know, we've had a lot of like, hey, I've got 40 cents, I'll donate some of this. And then like after two cents, it goes, Bwamp. It's the sound it makes when it's it's done. Bwamp. Well, we'll crack it open. We're gonna open every golden chest. You know why? Little item called TH. Little item called GH or CH wouldn't be so bad either. That's Tammy's head, Guppy's head, Cricket's head, respectively. What about Steven's head? We already purchased that, you Philistine, didn't we? I thought we did. I know we have little Steven, but I thought we purchased uh, Steven as well. Might be wrong. I don't know. I record a lot of Isaac. Sometimes the runs, you know, they group together. And it gets worse, by the way, like as time dilates. Like, it, when I record runs on a daily basis, let's say I record like five runs, I have like two runs mashed together in my head. There's like one good run of everything good, one bad run of everything bad. There are literally years of Isaac episodes that have just become one Isaac episode in my head. Like, sometimes people will go, Hey, NL, do you remember the time that this happened? And, like, nine times out of ten, the answer to the question is, That sounds like something that happened, but I certainly do not remember it, no. Kind of tempted to play that, but, what, I mean, what do you get for the man who has everything, you know? What is that demon judgment going to give me? Nothing seems plausible. That's not a damage upgrade, weirdly enough. I thought we must have, like, some kind of... Uh, evil item by now. Plenty of time. We don't need keys for anything yet. We're not going to the chest, presumably. I don't really want bombs and coins or even spirit hearts, but, you know, I'm thinking that one day you're going to pay out with something a little bit more readily useful. Wait, wait, wait you, you paid out, though. Don't you keep paying out? If you paid out, don't you keep paying out? Don't rock the boat, baby. Don't tip the boat over. I'm still in awe of, like, that first floor. The run has continued to be amazing, but that first floor will, like, go down in the annals of history for being a high-caliber first floor. Two great item rooms, Bookworm, and a deal with the devil where we were able to take all four items and really got value out of all four items, including Multidimensional Baby. Although that looks like the worst pickup now that we have, uh... Nah, we don't need it. That looks like the worst pickup now that we have uh, Brimstone proper, but still. So I, I don't see I don't see us losing. I wish I could at least come up with like some kind of case where it seems like there was a chance to lose, but there is the one way is hubris, I guess. You know, it's uh, not paying attention, moving around a little too fast, particularly on the void floor, taking too much damage. I also think that uh, the hush fight, I mean, if things go real badly there, you never know, I guess, but as long as we walk into a room, release the arrow key, and, uh, you know, handle our business, I think we're absolutely completely set. A little bit of room for improvement. I would love to see a card. I eh, don't really like that. Um, I would love to see a card. Something like the devil that we could use to get a little bit more uh, punch on the hush fight. I would love to see uh, two more guppy items. I will definitely take the virus. 
slightly lowers our speed, but with Empty Vessel, we can use this to create even more Demon Hearts, and of course there's the Spun Chance, like somewhere down the line. There we go, two cards. Strength, Hermit. Both useless right now. Two of Diamonds is so important, just because there's the, uh, the chance that we could donate 50 cents, double our money, and donate another 99 cents. Which would be a huge chunk of our necessary donations. And as much as I hate to say it, a spacebar item with some offensive potency? What are you? <laughs> Just, that eye is incredibly large. You can really stop and smell the roses here on a run where... Uh, don't have to worry about taking damage at all. And that's why I want to get rid of, or at least I'm open to trading for an appropriate value. Our Satanic Bible. Great item. Huge helper for an enormous chunk of this run. Not immediately useful right now. Emperor card? Just something? Let's start down here. Um, Curse of the Unknown shouldn't matter too much. Uh, we will just start by donating. Thanks for the luck upgrades as well. Just be cognizant, you hit like 49 cents somewhere around there. There you go, 57 it stopped anyway. So, we will take uh, Nun's Habit, and I think we'll take Bogo Bombs just because we can. We might get money equals power, so I guess we'll hold on to the rest of it. Teleporter is not necessarily better than Satanic Bible even in this situation. Kind of wild, right? You might look at uh, the straw and say that it's better. Cricket's Head, thank you so much. I don't know. I want to fight first. That's really good damage. I do think... The straw... It's going to be really nice for room clearing, because it does a byproduct of your own damage. Um, and then on top of that, it does generate demon hearts as well. Or, or at least spirit hearts. I don't know if you need, like, the Mitre or uh, Mom's Pearl to make that happen, but I've seen it happen. I've seen it, I swear to you. So I'm just trying to justify why it would be a viable choice over Satanic Bible. But then, you know, I feel like this... I, I'm the devil on my own shoulder right now. I'm thinking, like, what is the angel on my other shoulder saying? And I think it's pretty obvious. The angel on the other shoulder is like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, you already have incredible damage dealing potential. Why are you trying to, like, turn a 10 into a 10.5 when you're risking taking it down to an 8? Don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you got till it's gone. Adam Duritz, Joni Mitchell, Michelle Branch, mm, bop, bop, bop. Low-key, one of the best dodges I've had in a while there. Destroyed one and then slotted ourselves into the middle. Appear to be safe here. So we'll just ride it out. The invincibility is very nice. Look, I don't need to tell you this. Any run where you can be at the hush fight and, you know, presumably be done with the hush fight by like 21 minutes, they don't make them like that very often. That's a run you gotta, you gotta sit and savor. Everyone's always telling people to sit and spin. I don't really understand it. I mean, I, I kind of understand the intention behind it. I don't understand why the spinning is... Such a negative, I guess. Uh, but on the other hand, why don't you just sit and savor? Sit down, get your skis shined up, grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move you. People think I made that song up. The only people who don't think I made that song up were the people who, uh, you know, grew up in my generation, or at least were old enough to be watching television at the time. I swear to God, there was a commercial for chewing gum. Where a young man said, get your skis shined up, grab a stick of juicy fruit, the taste is going to move you. Take a sniff, pull it out, the taste is going to move you when you pop it in your mouth. That was on air in the year 2001. We thought it was weird back then. Nobody was going, oh, you got a dirty mind. Everyone was going, Wrigley's, what is wrong? Whose mans is this? Are you okay? This ain't it, chief. Oof, that's going to be a yikes from me, dog. I think we stick with Satanic Bible. Why wouldn't we? Mob the Void. 
Great items. Great item, I should say. And we'll go straight to the Delirium floor. But that means we're leaving something behind, so we should go back and at least take Lil Loki. As unnecessary as it may or may not be. I also, uh, actually... I think we want to look for... I mean, it, it's probably not going to be great, even if it exists. But if we find a crawl space, it could be a black market. If it's a black market, it lets us give up the HP that we picked up accidentally. Permanently put ourselves in that Hora Babylon position. And we're not using the bombs regardless, so... Okay, no payouts whatsoever. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in the rock and roll and drift away. You know what would be better? If, if a version of that song? Maybe Papa John's could use this. There's kind of an overlap here. Give me the pizza. The pizza hole. Nah, that's W-H-O-L-E. I want to eat sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. On this Friday night. <laughs> Give me the pizza, Papa John. I want one of those oven cookies, Jonathan Pizza Man. Don't be mad just because I thought of it first, okay? I don't know any of the other lyrics in that song. <laughs> Because when I, if my generation Uncle Cracker sang, follow me, okay? Follow me, everything is alright. A song you only hear in today's day and age if you're shopping for asparagus at a mid-tier grocery store. I.e., I hear it all the time. That's not a Whole Foods. That's a save on Foods. Whole Foods is playing Chiverches. It's just pronounced churches, NL. I pronounce things the way they're written, okay? You can't have it both ways. You can't call the movie The Vavitch and call the band Churches and be mad when people say Churches. If they wanted to make their band name Churches, there's a letter in the alphabet that was conducive to that, okay? They, they made their bet, it's time to lie in it. That's our second guppy item. I doubt we'll hit our third guppy item, but you gotta, you gotta keep your head held high. Yeah, I think we're, I mean, we could always hermit card out if we find delirium by accident, and we did. You know what, I will, I, I'm not... Fussy. Like, I really don't think we need to Hermit card out, but this should... If there was ever any defense to the idea that I'm trying to rush through a run, this would be it. We just took a trip away from the final boss, and the reason is I want to secure the victory here. So... You know, I want to at least... I really doubt we're going to get other guppy items, but even absent other guppy items, you know, all we need to do is get attribute upgrades. In particular, like, the only thing I could really think of that would be in incredibly useful would be a Tears upgrade. So after I kill these enemies, I'm gonna go check. I just heard uh, a, a moan or a scream, and I'm home alone. So I'm gonna go check and see if the cats are okay, or if I'm gonna be haunted. No hauntings, cats are okay, just uh, loud neighbors, and hey, you know what? It's Friday night, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. It's a blast from the past. Oh my god, I remember that song from middle school. Yeah, me too, me too, when I was in middle school in the year 2010, I remember that. Wow, um, Mrs. Uh, Bobkins, well, those were the days, learning about all sorts of middle school stuff and totally not holding down a full-time job as a teacher in a different country. How do you do, my fellow dudes? Various contemporary memes. This is fake pin. 
Infamy. You know, I would give it like 5% odds that Infamy ends up being the star of the show and blocking a shot that keeps us in the game. And at that 5%, at this point, put an extra 2 minutes into the runtime of the video to give me that extra percentage point, you know? Or that extra few percentage points. We're like at achievement level, never taking a hit on Void. Which is something I'm glad they haven't put into the game. Please never do that. What would it be called? No Life Boy? I would have gotten it three times over by now. Oh no, never mind! So we might as well use this and then uh, grab the battery charges. Like right now we have latently, like... I don't know, maybe... Six or seven... Maybe more demon hearts just chilling when you consider that we have car battery at all. Oh, you're not supposed to pick that up. Minus 3.5 damage. Um, we had gone so long without screwing up our, uh, our red heart setup. I don't know what I'm looking for out of pills, but why not at least take a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the thing. Uh, there is a, a theoretical, small but literal existing chance that this health up pill could be relevant for us. What would it have to do? You don't even want to know. We would have to go down to 1 HP, no spirit hearts, no charge on uh, Satanic Bible, and then pop this, and there should be red hearts on the ground. I don't know what would create them, but I just kind of... You know, it's like a being the son of a wealthy oil executive or something. I just expect there to be the resources I need around me at all times, because that's how it's always been on this run. You know, I want to open the fridge, and if I don't see San Pellegrino, I'm going to throw a friggin' fit. Holy Light is useless, but not for long. Because this run will soon be gone. We know it's not Delirium. It's our second to last chance at a... Well, it's our second to last likely chance of a guppy payout. Should not have stood there. Key Beggar. We're actually one bum friend away from getting the super bum transformation, which I believe I've only had once before in my entire life. Your safety is not guaranteed. Because we have Nun's Habit, we actually, and I didn't even think about this until now, but we have even more HP than I'd originally thought. I will not take anti-grab, and it's going to be a slightly contentious decision. If you're arguing about that on a run like this, that's like, um... Excuse me, you have... I recognize I cheer for the Stanley Cup winning capitals uh, of Washington, but I believe you've ranked Evgeny Kuznetsov outside of your top five centers in the league right now. May I... Here is a eight-paragraph essay as to why I feel that you're incorrect. It doesn't matter, you know? Just enjoy the champagne. We should have no problems. And a tears upgrade would be nice. But not as nice as being able to reliably hit enemies, I think. I could be wrong. Being able to create these portals might mean an enemy stands inside of a brimstone portal for long enough to really screw them. But I think I, I like where my own head's at here. I swear to you, one of these enemies is, is programmed wrong. And I don't mean that as a shot at the developers. I mean it as like a lifeline for us. One of these enemies takes damage that is not correlating with super greed, or sorry, uh, Delirium's HP. It correlates with the HP that that boss normally has. You know it when you smack it. Or like, it might be Larry Jr. Like when you hit one segment, it multiplies or amplifies the damage across multiple segments. We're obviously at this point going to be totally safe. Delirium's half dead, we're not even close. This is good. This is a great run to have on a Friday night. I'm feeling good. Doing damage. Wish I was doing a little bit more damage, but you know, you can't always get what you want. I mean, what do you want? Brimstone mom's knife and Tammy's head? Well, no mom's knife, I guess. Just just Tammy's head. I'm mostly complaining that I accidentally picked up a red heart. I'm complaining I accidentally got an HP upgrade. But Mom, I didn't want the HP upgrade. I have more Babylon. 
If you're taking the mom's side, just remember, in that situation, she is incorrect. And she doesn't understand how deal with the devil mechanics work. Easy wins, lads. It's just that easy. Please let me hit you one more time. You are clearly dead. This is one of those Isaac runs where when you before you fight uh, Delirium, a screen should just pop up and like analyze your run and be like, yeah, you got this. <laughs> I'll, I'll just give you the run. You don't need to actually finish it. Come on, like life's short. Good stuff though. We get uh, Ma of the Void unlocked. Actually a very critical item. We'll be happy to add to the devil pool. Dark Prince's crown. Well, you can't always get what you want. One out of two ain't bad. <laughs> For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It's a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Also, follow me on Twitch to be notified of my live content. Twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!